there's your day going just in time to see this first attack here we go we're off and running here john from po jan ma but we call them pajamas for short coming in with those zaps around that 12 o'clock compartment there and we've got a yeti smash with zaps here in comes the warden pretty typical with the yetis we created a new troop last night if you weren't watching last night we called them wetties by mistake and that sort of stuck go well with pajamas actually so there come the head look at those mass headhunters coming out of that cc a couple of bowlers in there to help speed things along the poison did go down he has caught most of them but he's trying to protect that warden and that warden ability which is crucial for this attack so he's got a couple of loons coming in and a baby drag at nine o'clock wizard helping clear that top corner everything cleared now towards the town hall so there's a nice path for everything to come in there in comes the king at 9.30. There's the ice golem. And we're just awaiting the arrival of those yetis. Or wetties. And in comes that super wall break. There's the queen and the bowlers. Everything should have a nice path straight into this town hall. The siege barracks has dropped at 8.30. There's a jump spell coming in behind the town hall. Which has got a rage over it now as well. There's the warden tome. Just protecting everything as it goes through. All troops taking that jump spell that inferno goes down really quickly got that single inferno caused a bit of trouble here it's going to eat through those bowlers but they're all checking back from that jump spell again nicely done the king's tackling that single inferno we've got the siege barrack troops working the outside at the bottom there we're still probably waiting for hogs coming out of there and there come the hogs the queen's found the tornado trap in front of that single inferno she will take that scatter down with the hogs but can she survive that single inferno? I don't think she's going to, but we've still got the Royal Champ and her ability here. Those hogs lock on to that single inferno. The king's working hard at the top. There goes the single inferno. What have we got left? We've got that scatter shot left at four o'clock. Doing a lot of damage to these yetis and the healers. He's took the healers down. Royal Champ's going to take care of it though. And we're only left with this last corner here. 40 seconds left. Can we do it, guys? Can we do it? Yeti goes down to that cannon. So we're left with the Warden who's on critical health. And the Royal Champ's on fairly critical health too. Just one more cannon to get. Ooh, and they both survive. So we're on cleanup. 23 seconds. Can we do this? All storage is there. Well, it's going to be close. It's going to be close on time. I'm all good as well. Thank you, uh, Mac. 10 seconds. There we go. One more storage to go. Royal Champ and the Warden beating against that gold storage. Boom. Lock your ears, guys. Can't find it. There it is. Boom. A nice three star to open us up there. Got a three star height there as well. And we're straight in with the next attack. Real Dirty's coming in. Cracking start. Real Dirty. From Stoke City. Here we go. The Queen stepping in. The King's in with a Yeti at 2 o'clock. The Queen's in at 3 o'clock. There's a super wall break opening up that single Inferno compartment. There's a baby drag down at 4 o'clock. And we are looking at a hybrid for this one. So two different attacks in two different metas. Nice work from that Cocaloon over the top. Finding that seeking black air mine as the Queen steps in. He does pull the CC. We've got a usual C he C here. C C C C here. There's the rage over the queen. The poison goes down over that lava hound. We haven't seen super minions yet. Was kind of expecting to see a couple of super minions in the CCs. Perhaps they haven't got them in the clan. There's the siege barracks at 10 o'clock. And the hybrid starting straight in towards this town hall at 1 o'clock. Warden and the Royal Champ both in with all those hybrid troops. The Queen's still alive and working around the outside now. She's going to work down to 6 o'clock. Miners lock onto the Town Hall. Town Hall goes down. There goes the Warden Toe. The King's working around 9 o'clock. And here come the Hogs from the Siege Barracks. There's a ha uh, haste. That's not a haste. It's a heal. Starts with an H. Freeze over that scatter shot and the Eagle there. Nice placement of that freeze. There's the Rage, taking the Hogs into that scatter shot. That's going to go down. This is starting to look really good as well. Real dirty. 
is getting real dirty with these troops on the bottom end of this base. The hogs are still tackling the whiz tower with the miners there. Single Inferno. Can we get to that single inferno while the oh champ is fighting those skellies? She does do it. And we are gonna come straight back with another look at the time left, guys. 58 seconds left on the clock. That is an OP attack from Real Dirty. Nice stuff. Fuck your ears. That's another boom. There we go. Perfect start. Oak City. Restarts. Ojan Ma. Restarts. What do we know about these guys? Ojan Ma. DWL Esport Projects. WCL Champion. Season 7. Round 32. Not bad. Not bad. GCC Gothic. Season 3. These guys have got form, you know. This is going to be a hell of a war. Great attack so far. I think so. I agree, HMC and Mac coming in with those three stars. It can only get better. Three all. I think they're five minute timed attacks, but you get a two minute window either side here. So 35 would be a window of 37 to 33. So you get that four minute window. But you can't beat that. Two different metas. Are we going to see any super troops tonight? We've seen none in the CC so far. Anyone using super troops? Who's using super troops? I'm using them now. I'm using um, Flybrid. I'm using the new Flybrid army today. And I've got the Flybrid emote. Flybrid. Bats and super minions. Nine super minions. Bats. Well, there is bats in there as well. I'm using nine super minions, seven dragons, and six bats. I haven't had a triple yet, though. I've had some high twos, but no triples. Super witches. Anyone going to come in with super witches? Or a lot of them over the weekend as well. on Saturday were all super witches make it through it was a lot of gutted people on Sunday but it was a pretty awesome day the clash of clans <laughs> to me fly is more like fly be rip we could probably do that as well hang on a minute I think we've got one there for you there you go Fly B Rip, we'll call that. That's your special one, Mac. That's Fly B Rip for you. Um, yeah, it, it, it probably will end up a Fly B Rip for me as well, I think. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to see a triple with it. They make it look so easy, that's the problem. It's almost like it's indestructible, but when you use it yourself, you get one stars and two stars. Why I'm commentating on these wars and not actually in them. Here we go though. Max Tack is coming in for Pojanma with another hybrid. 13, 13 hogs, 13 miners in this one. No zaps, so it's just a standard hybrid. A queen walk coming in at 9 o'clock with a yeti. Just offering that little bit of extra protection. Trying to break into that nine o'clock compartment there. There is an opening in the wall, but the wall breakers took her straight to the town hall. Or is she going to check back into that compartment? No, she doesn't. She carries on round. And steps in towards that town hall. So lock straight onto the town hall. That's nice work. There comes a the rage spell. Queen gets rid of the town hall really quickly. Also CC again. We see the lava hound and headhunters coming out. Early poison. Queen locks onto the lava hand. Got half of those pups in that poison spell. There's a wizard coming in to help clear the other back end of those pups. But they're dealt with quite quickly. In comes an ice golem at one o'clock with the king.
Just waiting for that siege barracks to be deployed. Queen steps in. There's another super wall break coming in there. It didn't take that compartment. And it does go down to that tornado trap. The good thing is it did spring the tornado trap. But unfortunately, that was a little bit of a waste for that uh, super wall break there. As the hybrid steps in at 11 o'clock. Right into that single inferno. That's going to get smothered and go down. There's the siege barracks at three, uh, or 2 o'clock. 2.30 2 we'll call it. There's the Warden Tome. A hybrid moving into that 3 o'clock compartment now. There's a heal spell waiting for them. A double giant bomb there around that scatter shot. But that heal spell protecting everything. The Royal Champs come in from 2. The Queen is doing her usual beating on a wall. She does break through that first one. She's going to have to beat a few more walls to join into this attack. There's the Hogs from the Siege Barracks. And there's another heal spell around that multi-inferno. Protecting most through those giant bombs again. The eagle still standing here with one zap from the warden. That does go down. The queen's ability is forced from that single inferno. Is she going to get to it? He is locked on. There's the freeze. Nice work with that freeze. That single inferno goes down. And there is not much left of this base now. Just a sweeper left. There's a couple of loons coming in. We're on clean up. 27 uh, seconds left. Still got a couple of miners in there. Just working on those skellies. And this base is going to be another triple. Continuing that perfect start, guys. What a war. What a war. That's another boom. Block your ears. And another free star. Awesome stuff. Max Tack from Pojan Ma. Six or six. Can we keep it going? Are we going to keep it going here? It would be awesome to see a perfect war. All these big wars going on around the world at the moment. And this one from Stoke City and Pojanma. Who have we got next? Stoke City coming in next. Anywhere from 32. 28 is their attack. Matt coming in with the three stars saying we that was a good attack um, in fact they've all been brilliant attacks that second one was amazing with the time left on that second attack was 54 seconds not much you can say about that apart from OP So, Stoke City to come in next. Have a look at the stats. There's not much to look at really. They're all three stars. They're all 100%. So, Janma, 40% destruction. Stoke City, 20%. Can they level this up again? Come on, Stoke City, you can do this. And it's Emperor Cat coming in for Stoke City. With a Lalo. It's a Zap Lalo. It's my favourite attack. Where are we going with these Zaps? There's nice value there with the Queen and the Eagle and that CC. Is that where we're going to go on these Zaps? In fact, I'm going to zoom right in ready. I think he's just waiting for that Queen to walk around that pad again. Walked right in between the two. Here come the zaps. Boom. Queen down. Eagle down. CC down. There's the Coco Loon and the Baby Drag at four o'clock. The King stepping in at five. More loons to snipe that bottom archer tower there. Will they get to that bomb tower? With all that air defense and that scatter shot take them out. It does. There's the super wall break into that single inferno compartment. Here comes a nice golem now. The king's ability is fired. The queen checks in behind that ice golem. The king walks around the six o'clock corner. There's the freeze from the ice golem. Protecting the queen. She's going to pick off that single inferno. That worked an absolute treat. As the royal champ steps in beside the king. He's going to target this scatter shot. She needs to release her ability because she's going to get battered by that scatter shot she does 
and takes that scatter shot down. The Queen does go down to that expo. This single Inferno is going to say goodbye to the Royal Champ and the King going down there as well. So we're looking to start our Lalo from 8 o'clock. In with the Warden, in with that first hand. There's a freeze coming over that scatter shot. Sweeper is going to slow things down. And the rest of the Lalo coming up all the way up to 11 o'clock there. The blimp comes in from 9.30. There's a haste towards this single inferno. There goes the blimp. We've still got the Warden Tome here. Not used yet. There's a freeze on the Town Hall. And that blimp has now found the Tornado Trap. But it does make it there. Out come five loons and a dragon. There's the Warden Tome protecting all those loons through that giant gigabomb. And the rest of the loons up top are working hard to clear all the defences out here. But this big pack of loons are going so slow in that freeze. You just need to get to that sweeper. That dragon gets that sweeper down. We can work towards this air defence. Nice haste spell there. 55 seconds left. And we've only got this 3 o'clock corner left really. This is looking really strong. Up towards this archer tower. The minions and those pups are going to take care of that whiz tower. OP minion there finishing off that whiz tower. And we are on clean up here. And this is another triple. Triple for triple for triple for triple here. Perfect start from both teams. Absolutely OP attack there from Emperor Cat and Stoke City. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Look at this war, Jay. Six, six. A perfect start. No one has faltered. Three stars and a boom. Absolutely awesome. I don't know why I'm coming in to look at the destruction. You know it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Average destruction, 100%. Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Let's let, let's have a... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to jinx it. I'm getting more nervous than they are now. Pajama on Ogan Mar. It's going to come in next. 25 minutes. What we're going to see, we've seen three different attack types now. I think it'll take as long to show the replays after the war as what it will do stream the war at this rate. Oh my god, who's going to pick a winner? Did anyone else pick a winner? I picked Stoke City to take this one on destruction. So far, I'm still in with a shout. But unfortunately, I went for 11 all. I think it's going to be a bit higher than that. I could start showing the replays in between the attacks, guys, but they've got a four minute window, so they are entitled to come in anytime now. I don't want to miss the attack. Not the way these guys are attacking. Who have we got left to come in? We've got Jarpix. We've got Kona. And we've got. Bir Dorotsky coming in on number five there. That's the three left to attack from Pond. And here we go. Jarpix is in. Right on time. He's hitting God. Best of luck for that one. What can God do for defense? Can God get the first defense? We've got mass witches. We've got ten zaps and two quakes. We know where they're going around both scatter shots. And we're going to get two single infernos down both sides as well. So it's Mass Witch. Again, another new strike. Oh, you must have missed that um, single Inferno there. Just a slight misplacement on that um, zap spell, and he's missed one of the Infernos. Is that going to prove costly? In comes a Golem at 8 o'clock. There's a Witch in at 9. Another Golem and a couple of Witches in at 7 to 6 o'clock. Then comes the Ice Golem. There's the Super Wall Breaker. And more witches coming in all the way from 8 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Spread right across as they push in towards the base. Leading the way is the Ice Golem. In comes the Wall Wrecker and the Warden and the Queen. 
Everything pushing straight in towards this town hall. Easy access to the eagle. That goes straight down. There's the warden time. Protecting that wall wrecker from that single inferno. That goes down with one blast. Everything locks onto the town hall now. The town hall is going to go down comfortably here. And they're all stepping out. So they split both ways. We've got a pack going up the right hand side. And we've got a pack working up the left hand side of the base. We've got a nasty looking single inferno with two expos in the core here that we've got to track back into. That's going to be the problem. And here come seven headhunters. There's the poison spell. It's not stopping most of them. The queen's in a bit of bother here. She does go down. And in fact, that poison does capture all of those headhunters. Nicely done. Royal champ still got her ability. What can we do to get to this single inferno? Look how many skellies are on the right hand side here. Look how many witches are there still. One, two, three, four, five in that pack. One outside. We've got six witches here. More than enough. And the Royal Champ's ability takes care of the scattershot anyway. What do we think, guys? That whiz tower has wrecked those witches. One whiz tower after all that attack. Oh my god, that witch tower has destroyed those witches there with the enemy king. And we're left with 85% two star. I thought that was going to be another triple. That was pushing hard up towards the top of that base. So a nice try from um, po Pojanma. I keep trying to say not pajamas. Season 8 6 in front. No. Yeah, very nice try that one. I actually had it down as another triple. So it's not going to be a perfect war from um, Po Janma. Is it going to carry on for Stoke City? Any time now. From 22 minutes to 18 minutes of their attack. Who's left to come in for them? We've got God. OP God. We've got John. And we've got Nathan. Jarpix, John and Connor are the targets. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Very unlucky from um, Jarpix there. If I was a betting man at 50%, I would have said he would have got it. But I'm not. And thank God. Let's keep it going. Let's see my first perfect wall. I haven't streamed a perfect wall. I don't want to hype it up. I don't want to jinx it. Let this be the first one. So I was looking at the sides and we didn't get to Stoke City, but they're part of the CWL Alliance. Um, I've streamed Stoke City a couple of times before. They are in uh, many tournaments. And Nathan is coming in on number four. So number five against number four here. With another hybrid. So hybrids proving popular in the middle part of this war. No zaps so. There's a couple of Teslas popping up. Early CC pull there from those. Whatever it was stepped in there. I didn't see what it was that stepped in. But it's being pulled all the way to the top of the base by that single lone archer there. We can get the poison down nicely timed here with the queen stepping in. There's a coca loon. There's the healers attached. Poison on the two headhunters. Queen's going to deal with them. And she's tackling that lava hand. Down goes the lava hand. In comes a minion to help clear those pups. That actually gets destroyed quite quickly. So it's the queen on her own here. Just tackling those pups. Doing a lot of damage to the healers. I think he's still got five healers there though. But they are quite low on health now. In comes another Coco Lou.
queen decided which way she's gonna check is she gonna check go left is she gonna go right it decides to go down towards the 11 o'clock side straight into the enemy king a headhunter comes in there king's gonna go down queen's still got her ability super wall break into that town hall compartment nice job there the yeti and the baby drag coming in just to force the queen inside Here's the rage over the queen. She's tackling the town hall. That will go down comfortably. The king steps in with the siege barracks at 8 o'clock and the hybrid starts at 9.30. King steps into that compartment with the hybrid here. Queen's still working hard there, working towards the core. There's the heal spell. We've got the warden tome here. Rage over that scatter shot. There goes the warden tome. Just protecting everything, dealing with that scatter shot. Does catch the Royal Champion in that time as well. Queen's ability is fired. She's tackling the enemy RC. The RC is held up with skellies and the Queen steps in and says, I'll take that multi-inferno. Breeze over that scatter shot, captures the Eagle as well. Nice job there. Miners and the Royal Champion locking onto that scatter shot. It's just one single inferno. There goes the Royal Champ's ability. She is going to go down to that single inferno. The miners and the hogs do go down, but they do take that expo with them. So we've got just the two royals left in the middle, and whatever we've got on cleanup. Queen's lost her ability now. She's one healer here. Is that going to be enough? I don't think so. That single inferno. And we've only got seven seconds left. So we're just looking at percentage here. Can those archers get anything? No. So that one finishing on 77%, Stoke City. Their first two star of this war. I hyped it up too much. Unlucky though, nice try from Nathan. Now, the destruction's gonna come into play. And that does see uh, Po Janma step out in front on the destruction. 57 to 55.4, it's really tight. It could go either way, this one. Neck and neck at the moment though, you can't split them. also going to be left with that decision who do we watch on the last match I suppose we'll get a clearer idea from this next attack I'm just going to check to see if I'm in that clan for the next war Yes, I'm in the clan, and that is in preparation, so we've got plenty of time here. Again, we'll get 15 minutes for that one. But it'll be a quick hop over to the next war, guys. It's another Global Flash Cup war. MLN versus the Fighters. And then, after that, after that, guys, we have got MLCW Space Station Gaming versus Activity. That should be a pretty good war as well. It's got a lot to live up to this war at the moment. This war has been amazing at the start. I'm really lucky to stream some cracking wars lately. Guys giving it their all. Coming in any minute now for this next attack. They have been pretty OP, Wolf. Pretty OP indeed. Keeping one eye on both wars because we're 15 minutes late in this one. We're not late, they actually rescheduled it. It was agreed from all sides. We've got one minute ten left on battle day. I've got 15 left in this one. We'll have plenty of time. I'll get into the other one exactly on the end of this one. Alright, so this is Morotsky coming in against John. It's five against four. And it's another hybrid, so four hybrids on the trot here. It's not a flybrid, it's a hybrid. In comes three or four loons in front of that blimp bomb, which steps in at one o'clock towards that single inferno compartment. Down goes the rage, down goes the blimp. 
Down goes the single inferno. And out comes seven headhunters. Lock straight onto the queen. And that poison is so late. But the queen goes straight down. Unfortunately, we're on plan B straight away there. Rip the queen on that one, I'm afraid. Maybe drag trying to tackle the rest of the CC. Doesn't get to that witch. So that witch is coming across here. In fact, he did finish the witch off, to be fair. Just the skellies left. The king has now got the healers. King steps in at 9 o'clock. Who whizzing, just helping deal with them, and he's working down towards. Is he going to step in towards this uh, town hall compartment? I don't think so. He's going to continue his journey south. So the hybrid steps straight in towards the town hall with the uh, warden and royal champ straight in behind. There goes the warden tone. Down goes the town hall. So, are we going to recover from this? Devastating loss of the Queen straight away. There's plenty of rage left and a heal left here. Still got two frees in the tank as well. There's another rage coming down over that single inferno. That single inferno goes down quite quickly. There's a freeze over one of the scatter shots. There's another heal spell protecting those miners dealing with the bottom side scatter shot. And there's the tornado trap right in front of the eagle. But the Royal Champ has locked on. That does go down. King's working up from 6 o'clock, but that single, uh, multi inferno is ripping into these miners here, and there's not many left. There is one miner locked onto that multi, and the warden is just stood beside it and ignoring it, trying to protect the king. Just doing his job protecting other troops. The king's going to check back, and now he locks onto this multi inferno. That's going to go down. We've got one miner left there on the uh, three o'clock corner. So we're just into uh, percentage here. What we can get out of this one. It's a good recovery, really. Don't forget he lost the queen almost instantaneously. So I'd call that a nice recovery. We're into the 80s. There we go. 85% with the loss of the queen. That was, yeah, I like that. That was a good recovery. So, 10-8. This is a chance for Stoke City. Can they take the lead on this penultimate attack? And they come right back with a triple. That, unfortunately, was a rip for the Queen. Have to put a rip in there for that Queen. Seven headhunters, and that poison came down slightly late, and the Queen was dead. into Stoke City's window here. I'm not feeling God is going to go last. I don't know. What John and God left to attack. Oh, that's a nice try. I have a nice try. I don't know what I've done with it. I need to get another nice try one. I think I was messing around with me emotes at the weekend, trying to um, put too many weird ones up for the World Championships, but we had fun. Right, any second now, Stoke City, and they put the pressure on for this last, second last attack, and it is John, so it will be God to come in last, and we have got, whoa, it's the flybrid guys. It's the first flybrid of the night. I'm going to put my flybrid moats in chat. This is starting off with the king at 6 o'clock. There you go. There's the flybrid. King finding that Tesla down at 6 o'clock. A loon coming in trying to snipe this archer tower. King's ability is fired. He steps into that 6 o'clock compartment. There's a headhunter there to help him deal with the royal champ. 
So the Royal Champ's probably going to go down under that Headhunter. And the Royal Champ steps in at 5 o'clock. She tackles that Wiz Tower. You need to get to this air defense, and that scatter shot would be nice too. Gonna be a little bit too much to ask for the Royal Champ. There goes the Expo. If she goes straight down to that um, scatter shot. In comes the Queen at 9 o'clock, and a Super Minion behind her, and those loons and dragons now coming in from 8 to 7 o'clock. All those Super Minions right in behind. There's the Warden. There's the uh, Blimp. Waiting for that Warden Tone. There it goes. The Eagle goes down under that Rage as well. And look at the fire from those Super Minions. Backing up these Dragons. The Blimp makes it all the way to the Town Hall. There's a Rage just in front. Look how quick that Town Hall went down. Super Minions in the Defending CC as well. So it's going to be Super Minion versus Super Minion in the core there. Oh, those defending minions ripping into that dragon. But they do now go down. And here come the bats. We didn't even notice the bats coming in. Bats grouped together nicely over that single inferno in the middle. Where are they going to go? Moving up to that air defense. They do move up to that air defense. And they don't split. So round to the archer towers. We've got one freeze left. Nice timing on that freeze. Oh no, it goes down. The bats go down to a bomb. 50 seconds left. There's loads of time. We've still got one freeze here. We've got half of the CC running around there. Those goblins. Oh, and that dragon goes down. So we're only left with the warden and three super minions here. We're not going to have time to finish this one off. The Wiz coming in trying to snipe that Archer Tower. The Warden will finish it off with those Super Minions. But that single Inferno is going to eat into them. But there's the Freeze. The Queen ripping into them as well. 15 seconds left. And we're just about done here. 83% we will get from that Warden. He's going to get another couple. 84 Nice try with the flybrid. Nice to see it. Good attack from John. That's going to leave it mighty close. Let's have a look at the destruction. Yeah, 74.2 to Po Janma. 72.2 on Stoke City. So they're 1.8 behind. That is nine buildings in my calculation. So we've got to watch Stoke, I think. They need to. Well, let's just say if Pajama come in with a high two, uh, Stoke need a triple. Oh, agrees with Arvin, Finn, and Prince. I am keeping a check on the other war with my other eye, guys. My third eye is looking down at this phone. So we're good at the moment. It's still in, uh, it's just started battle day. 52 minutes on the clock, and the first attack won't come in to 45, so we've got seven minutes there. Just a bit right, because we've got six minutes left in this war. Hope attack should come in in a minute's time. I'm going to switch the clan logo as well. Uh, what have we got next? about 40 seconds away from this attack coming in. Can't find the clan logos for the next man. Here we go. Pojanma are in, but I'm going to watch Stoke City, guys. We'll check back and check that one afterwards. Stoke have got it all to do here. They should be in within the next few seconds. Both should attack together. I could check back and watch that one. 
they're making me wait so we'll go in and check on this one and it is another flybrid it was uh worth the look oh look at that we've got a clone spell with that blimp bomb and the e drag those loons coming out smashing that 12 o'clock compartment look at all those headhunters in there little champs in big trouble she's gonna go down and we've still got four headhunters on the field there's the poison spell we do run outside that uh, poison spell and check back not going to be enough to kill them all so we've still got three or four headhunters there Ooh, nice work of that archer making them run to and throw through that poison but we've still got four headhunters here in comes the super minion what can he do with that dragon he's going to lose a super minion here but the dragon finishes off the headhunters so uh, a nice come back really so in come two more super minions one at 10 o'clock one at nine o'clock king in at nine o'clock there's the loons there's the dragons with a straight path down towards the town hall lone drag is working around the one o'clock corner everything pushing into that town hall the warden covering absolutely everything at the moment We've got a couple of super minions wandered outside there's the warden tome captures almost everything as that eagle starts to rain down on those dragons we did see the tornado trap in under there as well and everything's on the outside here pushing around the outside looks like uh oak city are in on the other side free spell over that scatter shot Oh, Inferno under pressure that goes down so the push north now we've only got three dragons left on that edge still one more over that eagle and still that one outside working really hard those two super minions with that single dragon are chasing the enemy king around the field we've still got the queen's ability as well under all this lot those super minions lock onto the eagle is this going to be we've got two archer towers a whiz tower a cannon and two mortars but with the queen with her full ability i think we are looking at a triple here guys queen's gonna pop that ability any second 14 seconds left there we go and that is a closing triple from ponjama what has Oak City got in reply. It's God coming in. There's the king and the queen working in that five o'clock compartment. Queen is tackling the enemy king. In comes two headhunters. The enemy king goes down. Ice Golem in there as well. And it's a Lalo attack here. There's a stone slammer locked and loaded at the moment. Still got the queen with her ability. There's a super wall break. Didn't make it to the edge at four o'clock. Town Hall has gone here. There's a haste spell up towards this eagle. More loons wrapping all the way up to 12 o'clock. And that stone slammer. Loons smothering the top side of this base. The scatter shot doesn't know which way to turn. Stone slammer taking care and tanking those loons. Taking care of that whiz tower. There's the warden tome. Down goes that scatter shot. We've got a single inferno and one more scatter shot to deal with. There's the haste spell. There's a freeze over that second scatter shot. That's going to go down. One more single inferno and one more whiz tower. The stone slammer is still active. The queen is still active. She's going to go. No, she's still got her ability. He does get the enemy queen there. Out comes the dragon and loons from the stone slammer. Oh my god. It's going to. This is looking good as well, guys. What a finish to this war from God. OP God is going to get a triple and he, oh my days, it's not going to be enough, is it? I think po Pojama Pajamas, whatever you want to call them, I think, are going to take this on destruction. It's a triple from both sides at the last. Wow. 13 apiece. I've got to check it really quick. And Pojama have taken it with 94% against 92. All has ended. Defeat for...